pumpkin has done for me what my sons and granddaughter have done for me. Licking my eyelids. Oh, big yawn. There's a big girl now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Linda. This is Bronte. And this is Pumpkin Story with Geo Beats. Hello. Bronte and I run Two Song Sanctuary just outside of Port Lincoln in South Australia. At the moment, we have 27 kangaroos and eight wombats. Don't bite me. Do you know you're seven years old and that you probably shouldn't be on a bottle? All the animals come to us from members of the public who have rescued them. It's on. I'm like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Pumpkin's mother was run over. A lady called Tash was generous enough to stop. She checked the mother's pouch and found pumpkin inside. She raised pumpkin until she come to an age where she was a bit destroying stuff and then brought her down to two songs. We're lucky that um she was a lady from a farm, so she'd had a lot of experience with lambs and that sort of thing. She still stops in and sees pumpkin. Oh, my hair. They tend to pick their people. <laughs> She's really, really attached to me. Oh, well. Life goes on. Hello to you too, Wadu. We've got another wombat called Wadu Hello, who hates me and absolutely <laughs> loves Bronte. <laughs> hey. You're a good boy. You're a good man. But Pumpkin's actually, she loves me. Would you get off me? I can lay with her and go to sleep. She's just part of the furniture. She needs cuddles. She needs to be touched. Are you eating my hair? Pumpkin, are you allowed to dig holes in my pack couch? She certainly knows her name. Do you think you're allowed to dig holes in my couch? No. Wombats are just amazing animals. <laughs> I'd say very much like a dog. Hey. What are you doing? Hey. Hey. What are you doing? But maybe like a cat in the way that they don't listen to what you want them to do. Don't bash Frankie around. Or... We just love her and she loves us back, you know, when she's not biting us. <laughs> the government don't allow us to release. All carers have to keep the animals and provide a forever home. Hello. Wombats live probably up to 35 years in captivity and kangaroos will live up to 20 years. So it's a huge commitment. Mm. Well done, little girl. Oh, careful. We've also been given to ponies that needed rescuing. And we've also got two dogs that no one wanted. Sort of always something going on around the clock. Massages. There's quite a lot of cleaning. Our washing machine never stops. I have not let you know. Oh, he's trying so hard. Oh. Bronte and I don't have holidays anymore. And we're okay with that because um, we just love what we do. It's a good match. Match made in heaven. We bounce off each other pretty well. Would you stop biting me? Oh, 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 oh. Linda, she'll put in a big effort with me, the ones that need more special attention. I've probably got a little bit more patience with the temperamental ones. We live in a shed because the animals come first. We don't put them in a little cage. A wombat enclosure costs approximately $10,000. But that wombat enclosure will be large enough to give them mental stimulation, exercise, muscle development. Yeah, they're bulldozers and we have to accommodate that. If our animals are happy, they don't bite us as much. <laughs> they have no voice in this world that we live in. We all should be kind to people like this. Little brats like that. Come on. Come on, little one. They come to us so vulnerable and yet they're so resilient. 
I can't tell you just how lucky we are to be able to be given the chance in our short lifetime to look after such amazing animals. You're taking it a bit too far, pumpkin.